and welcome to another video. I am out in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, cruising along on the Team G. It is the H5 Team G, uh, and I've been using this for a couple of days now. It's um, quite a decent board for the price. You can get this for now 500 US dollars, normally 700 US dollars. They have a special on the moment, so if you like this board, it fits what you're wanting a board to do for you and uh, you like to have a bit of fun on the way to work or small commutes, this board's pretty bloody good. So let's, let me take you through all the details and what I've experienced over the last couple of days. Here we go. expecting a little bit of wind noise on this uh, little lav mic. There is a little wind guard on it, but I think we'll probably need more of a wind guard. We'll find out in edit if that's the case. But what this means for me is that I don't have to wear a backpack. I don't have to lug 10 kilos worth of equipment and hold it with two hands and get exhausted. I can just have this camera here with hyper smooth on and it should do a very, very similar job. Uh, if this is the case, I'm going to love doing my video reviews from now. I can get cool little uh, camera angles and I don't have to carry very much. Uh, it might seem a little bit lazy, but man, if you ever had to put an ADD on a Ronin S, hold that one-handed while talking, doing your remote control and making sure you don't kill yourself, it's, it's a big ask. Uh, anyway, back to the skateboard review. It's definitely not the biggest acceleration. It definitely doesn't have the biggest range, but it is a nice, smooth carving commuter. And by that I mean, you can get this at about eight or nine kilometers from my use on this on high mode. There's only high and low mode. Uh, and uh, the ride itself is pretty firm because the batteries themselves are enclosed within the board. So uh, it doesn't have a lot of flexibility. You are wearing this, you probably want to wear some very comfortable pretty decent too. You can see here it does have a screen right up the top that shows you the remote control battery levels that are left as well as the spored battery level too. It has a kilometer or a speedometer indicator on there so you can find out how fast you're going uh, and uh, I'm sure and on this and on the side it's got high or low in terms of what kind of speed you want to be going. Low, Slow is very very slow uh, but high is actually pretty decent. You're not going to get anywhere near the top speeds of things like a boosted stealth and even an x-way you're not going to get to those kind of accelerations or even the top speed i'd say my top speed on this would be around the 20 25k range in terms of the board very very impressed with it all the batteries itself are enclosed within the deck like i said it is only i think an 18 millimeter width to the deck too which fully encloses all the batteries for this board battery life itself is pretty good my thinking is because it doesn't have such a good acceleration, you are going to get a bit more distance than a usual board of this caliber. Um, I've ridden all around the city. I'm now in Port Melbourne, so I've probably gone on one charge about 10Ks already. 
I've got to get about three or four Ks to get back to the office. Um, but it is holding up and I still have just under half a charge left. So who is this board for? This board is for anybody that needs to travel probably less than 10 kilometers in a charge. That is probably Melbourne, like, that's probably city based because of the roads that this thing can go. These 83A 90 mil wheels are going to burn pretty quickly, not burn as in fire, but you'll burn through them. Uh, and they do come with replacement rubber, um, which is quite cheap off the website. If I were you and you were gonna buy one of these, I'd probably buy the replacement rubber at the same time as the board. Uh, and just cover yourself just in case one of these does go out quite quickly. The reason I say City Commute 2 is because this board actually comes with a cruise control. You get to a speed that you're quite comfortable with, you hit it twice, you click it, the actual accelerator here, and it will maintain this speed. I'm not actually doing any kind of acceleration or anything, I'm not declining. It's just going at a quite a leisurely pace of around 20 kilometers an hour, which is quite cool. I've just increased it down. Uh, so, um, yeah, if, if you are around the city, if you are... Now, one thing that this does not really let you know too... Look, one thing that it doesn't give enough information away on this board on their website is that you can only be up to 90 kilos in weight for this board. That's what they recommend anyway. Um, I'm at about 82. Um, I wouldn't go any further than that because just like most of these boards, if you hit it hard enough in the middle, it's going to crack. That happened with me with the wind board. Uh, it's not, uh, from my opinion, a bad thing for the... In my opinion, it's not something that's bad because of the production of the board. It's just what happens if you smack something that hard in the middle of, it, of something that is that thin. Uh, so just be wary of that with other boards, but this one will, this one will have the same thing. Interesting thing to note too is that it is 10 ply Canadian maple on the inside. Now, it have to have some very bloody thin sheets of maple to make up this board. And by that, you'd think that it'd be probably a little bit more bendy, but it's not because of the metallics um, holding the batteries together in the first place within the chassis of the board too. So I think, for me, $500 for a board, for someone that's kind of not heavy, for someone that's in the city is probably where this board's situated. Two things to note with this board, it is the thickness of my thumb right here is probably the thickness of the board. It is super thin. And the good thing about that too is it's super light. 6.8 kilos, which is about 17 pounds, which is pretty insane for an electric skateboard. It's so all in all a very enjoyable, leisurely cruise. Nothing that all, if you are an experienced electric skateboard rider, uh, get the hairs on your back tingling. Just a good way to get around the city, have a bit of fun, at a pretty cheap price too. But don't forget to like this video, share it if you can, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. And just one more thing, I wanted to let you know that the X-Way is very similar to this board in terms of its acceleration, its deck size, its width, its kind of everything except for the range of speed and the acceleration, what you can do to it. But anyway, a comparison video will be coming up very soon between these two boards. This is almost flat. Uh, that is coming out very, very soon. But do not forget to join in on Monday's live extreme stream. Uh, that will be with some of the owners of X-Way USA, which is quite cool. All 